does testosterone increase your risk of a heart attack, a stroke, or other major adverse cardiac events? Well, for the last decade, the FDA has told you that it does. And in fact, there was a black box warning, a label on every testosterone product that basically stated this product increases your risk of a major adverse cardiac event. What that has done is for the last decade now, doctors have been fearful of prescribing testosterone because of the incorrect conclusion the FDA came to a decade ago that testosterone increases that risk. This deprived millions of men of receiving the incredible benefits of testosterone replacement therapy, not just quality of life, but we know that testosterone replacement therapy actually reduces cardiovascular risk. It reduces your risk of a heart attack, a stroke, or other cardiovascular events, and it actually extends longevity. It reduces mortality. Check out my previous YouTube video where I went to all the studies that show the data clearly supports that testosterone reduces that risk. Nonetheless, it took the FDA a decade to finally come to this conclusion that we've known for so long. Now, what did the FDA say? On February 28th, the FDA came out with a, a class-wide labeling change on all testosterone products where they removed the language from the box warning label that related to the increased risk of adverse cardiovascular outcomes for any of these testosterone products. Now, where did this all come from? Why did they even make this claim in the first place? Well, you have to go back to 2014. The vegan study is what started this mess in the first place. The vegan study was published in JAMA, and this study was a horrible study for many reasons. It was a retrospective study of men at the VA, and these men underwent coronary angiography, and they had low testosterone, below 300. What they claimed, falsely claimed, was that the absolute rate of events was 19.9% in the no testosterone group versus 25.7% in the testosterone group with an absolute difference of 5.8%. The actual absolute risk in the testosterone group was actually two times lower. What they did was they used statistical analysis and manipulation of over 50 different variables to create this completely false conclusion. In fact, 17% of the testosterone therapy group, they only got the prescription filled one single time. What conclusions can you make about men who've only received testosterone one single dose? The next study that added fuel to this fire was the Finkel study. Now, the Finkel study was even worse, believe it or not. This was a retrospective population-based trial looking only at insurance claims. They looked at 55,000 men who got a testosterone prescription through their insurance to 167,000 men who received a PDE5 inhibitor prescription. This means Viagra, Cialis, ED drugs. And they compared the two groups. They simply followed the incidence of heart attacks in these groups for 90 days after the prescription was filled. What an incredibly flawed study, flawed methodology, terrible design. But what they concluded was an increased incidence of heart attacks in the testosterone group. Well, this is a retrospective study. There was absolutely no control group. You can't compare men getting testosterone to men getting PD-5 inhibitors. There was actually remarkably no clinical information gathered on these men other than simply through the insurance claims, the diagnosis codes. Remarkably, somehow no testosterone levels were ever checked in this study, but yet they came to the conclusion that testosterone increased your risk of a heart attack. In fact, we now know also that Oral PDE5 inhibitors, Viagra Cialis, are a confounding variable, and in fact, they may actually reduce cardiovascular disease and risk. And so, terrible study, poorly designed, no control. You can make no conclusion from this whatsoever. Nonetheless, what happened is the FDA took both of these two horrible studies. They ignored the dozens of other studies which showed us the exact opposite, which is what we already knew. And that is that testosterone replacement therapy, optimizing your testosterone, reduces cardiovascular risk. Again, check out my prior YouTube video with all the studies around that. And they came to this horrible conclusion, and that's what created this problem in the first place. Garbage in, garbage out. Now, what happened with the recent release was they refer to the Traverse trial, which for some reason they value this randomized trial over all the other randomized trials that have already come out that showed us the exact same thing. This study was published in July of 2023 in the New England Journal, and this was a very well-designed study, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial. They looked at over 5,000 men 
and they followed them and they randomized testosterone gel men to placebo gel. And what they found was no increase in major adverse cardiovascular events in the testosterone gel group. This supports what we have seen in, again, dozens of other studies that have told us the exact same thing, and that is that we know without question that TRT provides quality life benefits and it does not increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. And in fact, we now understand that it reduces it by as much as 30 to 50%. So I wanna thank the, vet, the FDA for 10 years later, finally coming clean with what we already knew, and that is that testosterone does not cause cardiovascular disease. Thank you so much, FDA.